Friends, Tinkercad SimLab's got some great new features. I'm gonna show them to you, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna start you out with a bit.ly. I'll also have a link in the description. It is bit.ly slash rocket, ZDP, and press enter. Friends, this awesome creation was created by ZDP189. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Friends, when this opens, you can see there's a countdown. You can start with nine and go all the way to zero and see the awesome interactions that ZDP has added. Real quickly, I'm gonna do Control A to grab everything and let's do F to fit view. That is a fantastic way to see the whole project. I'm also gonna click right here on one of the motors and I'm gonna show you the interactions. It is a servo motor and if you hit on the interactions, number four sets the position to 90 degrees up. Let's quickly check out the flag motor. It is launched with the letter 9 and sets the speed to 50, and it is a continuous motor. This is really slick because you can see it is the same key that launches this flag as well. All right, with it zoomed all the way out, I'm going to click somewhere else and let's enter SimLab. Note this may take a moment for the geometry to snap as it is pretty complex. Once you do see it snap, of course, then you can hit play. And when we press the number 9, things start happening there go the warning flags eight down goes an elevator seven there goes the jeep now i did not wait for its geometry to snap six another elevator and friends i'm going to leave the rest of the buttons for you now note since this geometry had not snapped you may want to hit reset and give it time to reload as you test it once again every one of these interactions you can click on them and explore how it happens and of course zdp thanks for the epic project and sharing it with us real quickly return to the bitlies we're going to type bit.ly slash marble zdp and press enter another fantastic interactive sim lab project once again it is created by zdp 189 it is set to copy and tinker so don't forget the golden rule of tinkercad give a reaction before you copy and tinker make sure you're patient as it opens because some of the shapes are complex I'm going to do control A to grab it all and hit F to fit view so it is all on the screen. Once it has loaded, all we're going to do on this one is press O to open. So let's immediately jump to Sim Lab. Of course, wait for the geometry to pop. Of course, it may take a moment. Be patient. Once it is gone, though, friends, we can hit play. And of course, it is the letter O to open the window and bam, down go the marbles. Now, as you can see, the mechanisms are moving, and one of my favorite features is that the race results are recorded with the sweet little sorter at the bottom. So blue was in the lead, but as you can see, purple got through a little faster on the paddle wheels, and bingo, there are your results. How cool is that? Of course, you can hit pause and rewatch the race from all sorts of angles. How cool is that? Friends, let's modify this to make it just a little bit more interesting. We are going to hit reset. I'm going to back out to the build area. Let's click on the little glass and let's hide it. Now I'm going to hit F to fit view on any one of these spheres. Zoom back out and I want to get rid of all but the bottom 10. So I'm going to click on this piece and hide it as well. Now I can real easily grab all of these, leaving the orange one so that I've got 10 spheres. Now let's bounce back to SimLab and let me show you how this is cool. We can click on any of these and we can change their material. I'm gonna make that one rubber. I'm gonna make the blue one steel. I'm gonna make the pink one hardwood. So I'm just adjusting these. I'm also gonna click on all of this top chunk. Notice I'm looking at it straight on. I'm gonna grab them all at once and I'm gonna trace them with dashed lines. That way we'll be able to spot them throughout the process. I'm gonna carefully grab these. Notice it's just a thin selection, five shapes. Once again, trace shapes, and I want this to be solid. So I've got dashed lines and solid lines. Now I'm gonna show everything. So the glass and everything is back. Let's do that Control A and F to fit view so we can see everything better again and this time when we go down and start the race 
Hit the letter O. We are collecting all sorts of data as the race occurs. I, of course, sped that up so we can check out the results. As you can see, we had plastic, plastic, then steel, then wood as far as how they finished. Since we have tracers enabled, we can also click here and check out all the data available to us. I love that you can set your graph to whatever you want, like I have velocity, and you can trace the graph to see the marbles as they move through the course. Of course, friends, I do want to let you know you can export by copying the data or doing it as a CSV as well. It is a fantastic way to collect data about your projects and analyze it. Friends, as I wrap up, huge shout out to ZDP for sharing his projects. I will let you know I have a couple of basic tutorials. I'll make sure they're available in the cards. Finally, friends, I do want to say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Don't forget you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.